Can you give us an update on the national plant germplasm system? Sure. Uh, I mentioned earlier information technology, and this has had uh, amazing uh, effect on the demand for our germplasm. Uh, starting in about 2004, 2005, we enabled search engines such as Google and others to index our GRIN database. And we saw the individual web hits go from a half million to two million last year and climbing. Corresponding to that, we've seen the number of requests and the number of individual samples of germplasm we've sent out also rising from an average of about 120,000 separate samples a year. Last year was 180,000. From what we can see, the first six months of 2009, it's going to be well over 200,000. So the demand for genetic resources for research and for breeding is very strong and growing. We wish we could match that with the capacity to handle it. And, and that, for the National Plant Germplasm System, matching our capacity with the demand is, is going to be a real challenge. We can do some of that with efficiencies, such as the new GRIN database and these new sophisticated technologies, but it's going to require additional resources. So. The good news is that we're highly relevant. The bad news is uh, sometimes I think we're being loved to death.